Um, these are my degrees. I got There's my plenty of stuff PhD in this office showing the brains and heart of Adrian Shin. Here you see uh, three dragon eggs. Uh, when Viserion actually died, I was too uh, heartbroken, so I put something on the egg to kind of commemorate the death. This is the hand of the queen. When not serving the leader of Westeros, this Game of Thrones fanatic teaches political science at the University of Colorado in Boulder. So we're introducing first year college students to some of the basic concepts in political science. Getting students to understand these complex ideas requires little imagination and some pump-up music. That's as far as I'm gonna go. <laughs> this is a fair game, right? Just like the Game of Thrones, actually. Professor Shin uses the politically driven TV show as the foundation of this freshman poli sci class. Game of Thrones, the logic of political survival. So it's about the show A Game of Thrones and how it relates to political science and surviving in a political world. We can learn abstract political science concepts and theories and apply right away to the political substance of A Game of Thrones. All right, so let's take a look at the, uh, the scene. Episodes of the show are paired with textbook assignments. I honestly love it. It makes it really interesting to learn about a really complex subject. It got me interested. I probably wouldn't have taken a political science class otherwise. <laughs> For most importance of that is to promote student learning. The wise professor yeah. using cunning and benevolence to reach his subjects. I'm gonna have to let you guys out early. Mike Grady. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Nine News.